Hey Australia, it's Adam Lambert and you're watching Sunrise. Romance. Uh, New, New Eyes is, is, is like a love letter to hope, to uh, discovery of new love or, or any sort of new thing that makes you feel passionate. Whether it be a relationship or some new hobby or some new um, food or drink, anything. It's, it's that discovery, that first moment. You know, I, I think as I've gotten older, I just, I don't know, I, I start to, um, it's like the circle connects. Like I feel like this last process of making music the last couple years, I feel full circle, like I'm going back to the things that I fell in love with in music the first time. Um, you know, when I first heard the albums that my mom and dad played around the house when I was a kid, that's when I first became aware of, of rock and roll and soul music, and much of which was from the 70s. And I think that became a part of my DNA. Um, and of course, touring the world with Queen has also in, infused my, my musicality with, with their catalog of music. And, I think this upcoming album is a result of all of that. And it's a real reflection of my influences more than ever. I think the older I get, the more sure of myself I get, the more secure I get. Um, and I think the music is a reflection of that. It's a reflection of, you know what? I wanna do this. This is my vibe right now. I'm not really concerned with what's trendy or what so-and-so is doing or so-and-so is doing. Let me dig deep, get into my spirit, my heart, and make music that makes me feel honest and authentic. So the album is called Velvet and it's me living my 70s rock star fantasy and, and hopefully everyone's along for the ride. Um, and in the New Eyes video, we basically start this story that will continue over the course of a couple other videos. Um, and in the video, we have this divine intervention that happens in a, in a number of different little scenes with different characters. And each character receives an item that becomes a catalyst for change in their life. Uh, whether it be discovering a new talent, falling in love with somebody for the first time, um, discovering your own identity that you might have been hiding or pushing down or afraid to share. Uh, it, it really explores that moment, the moment of something new. Uh, and the song New Eyes, as you can tell from the lyrics, if you're listening, is, is about seeing the world in a different way through somebody else. Meeting somebody that maybe makes you see it all differently. That, that opens your eyes to a new hope. I'm in love. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think that, that was one of the reasons why I wanted to share this song as the first song. Um, you know, there's lots of different energies and, and, and grooves on this album. But out of all of them, this one felt the most honest to where I'm at at the present moment, which is um, new love. Yeah. Is it that um, butterflies in the tongue kind of feeling? Well, it's been, a, it's been a minute, so I don't know if butterflies in the tummy are still happening, but they did at the beginning, for sure. But I just feel really happy and, and, and very um, lucky that I feel like I figured something out. I can't even put my finger on what, but I think I made things harder for myself in my personal life years ago. I overcomplicated things and I, I wasn't really paying attention to the important parts and the, the parts that, that make you truly happy. And now I am. So I think this song kind of sums that all up for me. I, you know, I think this song dips into the blues a bit. Um, you know, I love like Tame Impala, um, the Black Keys, um, you know, alternative artists like that that have been putting out music over the past decade that, that definitely nod to the past. They nod to the 70s, they nod to the greats, to the classics. And that's something that, um, Every time I heard a song by an act like that, I always thought, ah, oh, I want to try that. And so I think with this, with this song in particular, I think I'm really leaning into, uh, uh, you know, guitars, a bass, drums, real instruments, real vocals. Um, it's definitely a, a step away from EDM. It's a step away from the really, really glossy pop music that I've visited in the past, um, which I really enjoyed making, but this is just, it was just time for something new.
You know, it's, it's incredible being on the road with Queen. Uh, we've become a family and it's, it, it's very comfortable now. And I do have to stop and pinch myself from time to time because I realize how crazy it is that I'm part of Queen and that they're like a family to me um, because these guys are icons. And I, I truly uh, am grateful every time I hit the stage uh, or sit down to a meal with them, you name it, whatever it is that happens on tour, I, I do stop and I go, wow. If somebody had told me 10 years ago when I auditioned for American Idol with Bohemian Rhapsody that I would later become their singer, I wouldn't have believed them. And you know, obviously Freddie Mercury is one of my all-time heroes, um, rock god. Uh, he is untouchable and irreplaceable. And he's somebody that I feel that I have the, the privilege of honoring every time I take the stage with them. I get to pay tribute to him. I get to celebrate him with all the fans and with Brian Roger. So it's really, it's, it's a really special opportunity that has continued over the past six years. Oh yeah, I love Australia. You know, I, I, I spent um, a few months down there doing X Factor a couple years ago, which was so fun. I've toured there with Queen on my own a handful of times. I love my Australian fans. Um, every time I come home, it feels very familiar. It feels like, it, it feels a lot like California in certain ways. And so every time I'm there, I, I don't feel like I'm around the other side of the world. I feel like safe. I feel like there's a, yeah, it's good people, it's friendly. I always feel like we all get each other. I don't know, I, lo I love Australia.